Hello everybody and welcome to my channel again. In this video I have a new tent from Bushnell brand. So it is Bushnell Instant Pop-Up 8 person tent and here is the picture from my post on the site to see what this is about. As you realize it's really impressive structure. Cabin type I would describe it as a cabin type. So it's very tall with uh, steep uh, walls and uh, it has two doors on two opposite sides one is visible here and the other is on the other side this is a uh, larger of two tents that they launched recently there is yet another uh, six person version just to mention it in case that this uh, eight person is too big for you so this eight person tent is uh, i would say i would describe it as a fully freestanding and this means that even with the fly on you can still rotate it and uh, move short distances in the, in the camp to position it properly but of course as you realize from this picture it comes with uh, everything uh, needed to stake it down properly and you should always do this in this picture you can see it without a fly so I realize that the uh, ceiling is all mesh and uh, you have a lot of mesh everywhere around this is because you have eight separate windows plus four windows on the two doors so views are incredible uh, when you are in this tent but all these windows are double layered you have mesh and you also have inner panels zippered so you can close everything as you see here two of these windows they are closed and here in the middle you see the uh, central divider so there are two separate rooms and this is the room you see uh, it has this u-shaped uh, zipper you can open it and then uh, unzip i mean and then uh, fix above the door and then when both external doors are open you can see to hold the tent there are storage pouches on both sides of this uh, inner divider so this is from from, uh, from this room on this side from and there is yet another on the opposite side for the other room so this is a symmetric structure both rooms have the same door and the same storage features the uh, tent is uh, i would describe it as a semi instant and the meaning of this is that you have these uh, x crossed uh, poles here they are they are pre-attached to the tent and they remain there all the time so you simply pull those ropes that you orange ropes that you see here and then uh, the tent simply expands out you also push up the uh, those two uh, panels on the ceiling now there is, uh, I'm saying it is semi-instant because there is still some work to do around the doors because there are several poles to put in place as you see the doors are practically vertical but this is because of the poles that you have around and there are also two shorter poles that you use to, uh, to support the uh, fly uh, because the fly creates small awnings above door so you can in principle you, you have in principle what is described as a, a dry entry uh, yet another interesting uh, feature here is what you, what you see uh, you see these uh, uh, structures here they look like like standard vents on tents but actually this this is just the fly which is raised by these stiffeners that they have added here on the tent and this is combined with the uh, vents that you have uh, close to the floor the same is on the opposite side so this tent has perfect ventilation if you need something for warm places with, where you need a lot of uh, fresh air or just air circulation if it is uh, too warm this is a really great choice when the sky is clear you can keep all these windows uh, with the uh, mesh only and then you will have plenty of airflow in all directions so but when you when you are forced to close these windows 
then you still have these uh, renting options that they have added. Now regarding the, uh, the space, the area, the tent is officially for uh, eight people and for this you have uh, around 10 square meters or 110 square feet. Uh, so in principle you can put uh, eight sleeping pads on the floor. This is how the, they normally typically determine the capacity of such things, especially on the US market. But for real family camping, it's best to reduce it to, let's say, maximum six. So it would be one room for parents and me, and then the other for kids. Let's say two, four kids can fit inside. Uh, regarding the weight and the uh, pack size, well, they, these are not the best features of this tent. It's heavy. This is the weight, 21 kilograms, and it's also quite long, as you see, 160 centimeters. So it takes some space. You should plan this if you go for such a tent. Uh, regarding seasons, with so many windows and vents, this is a nicely ventilated tent and you can use it in warm weather. But it is also completely closable and you can use it also in, let's say, maximum three seasons. It will perform well everywhere except in very windy places because this is uh, really a tall and boxy uh, cabin style structure. I didn't say anything about the materials, just to stress that the, all the poles that you have uh, are fiberglass, so they are uh, integrated into the tent structure. You will not deal with them except all of those poles that are uh, around the, the doors, and those are steel uh, leg poles. The fabric is very strong, 210. Uh, D and this is polyester with two uh, thousand millimeters so you will never need more really. The floor is even thicker 300 D value and the same waterproof rating. It is interesting that this tent is exactly the same weight as the Gazelle T8. Uh, these tents uh, share some common features like those you see X crossed Holes in those uh, side panels, but the fly is completely different. So it's really uh, amazing that the weight is exactly the same. But I guess that they come from the same factory, uh, probably in China. So this is all I wanted to say about this tent. My rating is quite high. Uh, I have problem with the weight and the pack size, and it's all, all, also quite expensive. But this tent really looks great. It is very functional, with excellent ventilation, great windows, tall and pleasant. So it is uh, worth the money. This is all I wanted to say. Please uh, follow the link below the video. You can come here and read this text in detail. And uh, I shall appreciate if you subscribe to my channel. I add videos uh, on a regular basis and uh, the same is with posts in my site. So thank you for watching and have a nice day.